All right, so today I'm gonna be doing this super basic, very quick, 10 minute everyday kind of makeup look. So this is just, if you have to get out the door, but you wanna look like, you know, you tried a little bit or something. And all the products I'm using today are drugstore. So this is the drugstore 10 minute makeup look for you. So if you enjoy this video while you're watching and find it helpful, you can give it a thumbs up. Here we go. All right, so obviously this video is gonna be a little bit longer than 10 minutes because I'm talking through all the steps and everything, but if you're really, hustling and not uh, watching YouTube videos and stuff while you're getting ready. I don't know about you guys, but if I'm watching something while I get ready or even just like listening to a podcast, it usually takes me like twice as long. So if I'm really in a rush and trying to get out the door, I just go with the old silence route. But if you're moving fast and you're not too distracted, this can get done in about 10 minutes. Great, my friggin' static nail just popped off <laughs> right now. Let me go glue this back on. My thumb also popped off right before filming this. The static nails, in my opinion, are like the most expensive and worst quality ones that I've tried. Go with Kiss Nails, they're so much better from the drugstore. This is turning into a nail review, but I find that the edges of these, the color peels off after a couple days, and then also the edges get all like weird shaped and just like bumpy looking. But let's do some 10 minute makeup here. So if you're in a rush, what I've been doing lately, and I don't know why this is happening all of a sudden, normally I'm like super ahead of schedule. I'm like the person who shows up for a doctor's appointment like 25 minutes early, just so I don't have to stress about it. But lately I've been running late. I don't know what's happening and I just have to do my makeup super quick. So this is perfect timing for this video. But what you can do to save even more time is go out of your normal order. So for example, I'm gonna first put on my primer. This is the number seven airbrush away. I talked about this a lot recently. It's incredible at blurring the pores and going underneath the foundation. Yes, it's a little bit dark, but it takes two seconds and it just really smooths out your skin. But you definitely wanna let this soak in before you go in straight away with your foundation. So because of that, I'm putting that on. And then I'm gonna go straight into brows. So I can kind of do two things at once, let this soak in while I work on my brows. For me, I feel like if I have my brows good, the rest of the makeup can look like okay. But brows are one of those things that changes your face shape so much that I just, Really like having them done even if I'm in a rush. This is the Wet n Wild Micro Brow Pencil. Normally I'll use the Elf Brow Pencil, but I kinda just wanted to retest this one. So I'm gonna do this pretty quickly and just kind of add some shape. I feel like I'm talking super fast because I'm like trying to go super fast. Another good thing is if you do the primer first because it has this like very silky feel, if you get out of the edges since you're going super quickly with your brows, you can just like clean it up with your finger and it just wipes right off, which is nice. I actually really like the shade of this pencil. It's a nice like deep brown. That just adds a little bit of shape to my face and now my primer is sunken in, sunken in, sunken in, soaked in, absorbed in. If you're someone who already has naturally good shaped brows and you just need to like fill them in a little bit, definitely skip this step and just go in with a brow gel. I love the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. That <sighs> popped off again, we're good. These are like my top three drugstore foundations right now, but I'm not gonna go in with this one because if I'm doing something super quick, I just like a lot of coverage because I don't have to take my time. Like I just feel like if something has more full coverage and it's really easy to work with, it overall just saves more time. So I'm not gonna go in with Essence Pretty Natural today. And then CoverGirl also has less coverage than the Physician's Formula, but this one is one that I reach for if I'm just like running errands, going to an appointment, need to get out really quick. But because this one isn't as full coverage, this one I can actually get away with not using concealer underneath my eyes. It has that much coverage. So that's why I'm gonna go in with this one today because a lot of times I won't put on concealer if I'm using this and I'm just like running out the door. I use the shade Fair to Light and this is full, full coverage and it also just blends into the skin so quickly. So watch the brows and then definitely get right underneath your eyes because this is gonna be our concealer too. Look at that. <laughs> Blends out super fast and I have full coverage. And I like this shade on me because it is like a little bit dark, but the undertone is a nice neutral undertone. All right, foundation's on. That took literally about 45 seconds to a minute, which is totally worth the time for me because honestly, I could just go like this, put on some lip gloss, and sometimes I do that, like nothing else, or throw on just a little bit of like a cream bronzer. For bronzer, yes, I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. This thing has been grown on me. Okay, this is the lightest shade. You just have to really work your brush in here and get a decent amount. And if you do that, it won't look patchy, but I just go very fast, go in, and then I'll also take my foundation brush right away and just kind of blend out the edges. And that's that. That was like, what, five seconds. The tone of this is really pretty. I don't like the e.l.f. Putty blushes, but the bronzer 
has definitely been growing on me. I'm gonna go in with lips. This is the LA Girl Lip Stain Glossy Tint. I mentioned a different shade of this in my heat proof video that I've been using a lot over summer. That one's more of like a pinky kind of fuchsia. This is in the shade Adored. These do smell very chemically, but they're long lasting and they're just a lip stain. So they're super easy to throw on and extremely quick to apply. You don't need a lip liner. It's kind of like a wash of color. Tell me why I'm not using a mirror. And obviously during COVID times, it kind of depends on where you're going, if it makes sense to do a lip or not. I'm doing like the full face today, so. And I just love this shade, especially for fall and winter because it has that kind of like berry undertone, but it's not too much and it looks like you tried. Just super pretty. So next I'm gonna do very quick eyeshadow. I always like to put something on my lids because if not, whatever I have, like concealer or whatever, just creases. Now I'm gonna go with this ColourPop quad, which is in the shade Free To Be. I love this thing for every day because it's just so easy to throw on. If I'm not doing like a whole eyeshadow look, I'll usually just mix these two shades and put it all over with a big fluffy brush. This takes literally about um, max 20 seconds, both eyes. And these now you can get on Ulta. I just sneezed and now my eyes are all red. But for me personally, if I'm rushing and I try to go in with liquid liner, I almost always mess it up and then it turns into a whole thing and then I end up like wasting five minutes. Back in the day when I was wearing a wing every single day, I could just pop those babies on. Gone are those days, okay? Because I don't do a wing every single day now. If I try to go in with any kind of liner, like I just have to take my time with it now. So because of that, I'm gonna skip the eyeliner and go in with mascara, especially on certain eye types. If you go in with mascara, it can make such a difference and just really open up your eyes. For me, I find that's eyeliner for my eye shape. Like that's what really changes the look of my eyes, but I still like to go in with mascara. It does help to open everything up. So I'm gonna take the Essence Lash Princess. This is actually the waterproof version. My absolute favorite is the normal in the green packaging. That's like my number one drugstore mascara. It's amazing. I have so many mascaras right now that I'm just trying to go through some of them. I mean, even one coat of mascara makes you look a little more alive. Look at this side versus this side. If I have time, I always try and go with two coats because that's what really makes a difference for me. So this is two coats of that mascara. Sometimes for me, when I'm rushing, I can get mascara like on my lash line like this. So honestly, sometimes I'll just leave it or I'll take a flat liner brush and just kind of blend it. If you do that, it almost turns into more of like a smudge liner look and you don't have to wait for it to fully dry because the way to remove that is to let it completely dry and then go in with a brush and you can like get off the mascara. But in order to do that, it has to sit for a few minutes. So when we don't have the time, you can just smudge it and turn it into an eyeliner if that happens to you. Then I'll go in with a cream blush. The fastest one is definitely the Believe Beauty doll face for me. It takes me about probably five seconds each cheek, super fast. So if you're really running out of time, I would go in with this one. But since I haven't used this one as much in videos, I'm gonna use this one today. It's the NYX Coralicious Sweet Cheeks Blush. I mentioned this in my speed reviews video. Was it the speed reviews video? Yeah, I think so. This one is more of a matte formula. The Believe Beauty is dewy, so this looks really pretty with a more dewy foundation because it kind of balances it out. This is something I do when I'm like really in a rush. I just go back in with the foundation brush to blend out the edges instead of spending a lot of time working with the same product and trying to blend it out. You can just touch it up with the foundation brush way faster. Then last up, I always try to go in with highlighter because I do feel like it's one of those things that makes you look like you spent more time on your face and your skin than you actually did. And it's something that you can see if you're wearing a mask too when you turn your head to the side, you can still see the highlighter. I'm gonna go in with one of my all-time favorites, the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in 10 Be My Highlight. This one is just so easy to work with. You can't really go too overboard with this. It looks flattering on top of the skin and I don't need to have powdered my face for this to look good. I can just go in right on top of creams, which is, you know, I have all creams on right now. So this one's just really easy to work with. Because I have all creams on though, to start, I am patting instead of blending. And then once I have that first layer down, I'll just go in and blend. And that's when you can really see the highlight. I'm gonna pull it on my nose and my upper lip. All right, so that's it. Super fast because I have on a dewy foundation. I don't feel like I need to put on a setting spray, but that is something that if you were going in with a more matte foundation, you could super quickly just spray on a few spritzes of setting spray at the end. Glowy setting spray I've been really liking is the L'Oreal Shake and Glow. And I told you guys I'd update you if you saw my Look Fantastic video. And I've been really liking this thing. Very pretty, especially for using over a more of a matte or satin foundation. Like this over the Essence is really pretty. Brings it to a full glowy finish or over the NARS soft matte, and then it brings it into like a satin finish. 
If you're someone who prefers a powder bronzer, I would say go with the Maybelline City Bronzer if you're around my skin tone in 100. This stuff is amazing, especially if I'm rushing. Creams are the way to go because they just blend really easily into each other. You don't have to worry about like patchiness as much and I just find that they're a lot faster than using powder products in general. Not a revolutionary look or anything, but definitely look more put together and like I tried a little bit. I feel like especially with this lip color, just makes things look like you put more effort in than you actually did for a 10 minute look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna have everything I talked about today listed down below in the description box. I'm gonna go pop these things off. Watch now that I actually want them to come off, watch them not come off. Also, this is one of my like go-to hairstyles if I'm in a rush, I either put it in a ponytail and bring out the bangs or I do the half up, half down. Cause again, it looks like a little bit more styled than just like throwing it up. One of my other go-to moves, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.